Now, after 50, uh, 64 years of independence, Ghana now has a national security policy fashioned to govern its programs and activities. Among others, the document outlines the unique characteristics of the threats facing the country and offers innovative ways to confront them. The document also advocates uh, the effective use of resources to promote effective decisions. At a ceremony to outdoor a new office complex for the National Security Ministry and a launch of the document, President Okufuado moved for a more tolerant, people-centered approach as it starts a new phase. Presidential correspondent Elton Brobe was there for joining you. The president, who is the chairman of the National Security uh, Committee, opened the National Security Building, which is just behind me, also launched the National Security Document, which has eluded Ghana since independence in 1957. And for the first time, the National Security uh, Secretariat will have a working document that will guide or that will govern the application of what they have been entrusted by the people of this country to do. But according to President Kufuado, regardless of the potency of the document, only implementation can bring it to life. It is important to note, however, that a strategy, regardless of its potency, cannot yield desired results until successfully implemented. Our success will therefore be based on how we implement the national security strategy. To avoid the pitfall of implementational challenges, the national security strategy has been designed to adopt a whole-of-government and the whole-of-society approach in its implementation. More importantly, the implementation of the national security strategy will be driven systematically, transparently and accountably. Will this particular document, the first time since independence, work? I've been speaking to the ranking member on Parliament's Defence and Interior Committee, James Agaga, who says that it is only implementation that will give him confidence that for the first time we'll have a new beginning regarding the operations of the national security. It is our hope that if this strategy is implemented, I mean, and there's a problem of implementation, having the strategy in itself is not enough. I mean, you have to make a bold attempt to implement the brilliant ideas that have been espoused and are contained in the strategy. If we do that, yes, I would say there will be better coordination, there will be cohesion, and that way we can deal with some of the excesses that um, national security has been noted for. The national security outfit has been in the news lately for all the wrongdoings. We can talk about the assault of the city FM journalists and the recent operation at San Kruguar, which led to some people complaining about the brutalities they, they encountered with some operators of the national security. We did not hear a condemnation or what the security outfit is trying to do uh, to make it uh, a Ghanaian friendly establishment. But the Minister for National Security, Kandapa, says that. The National Security Act will continue to respect the rule of law and the rights of individuals. May I assure all Ghanaians that we pledge to respect the rule of law, fundamental human rights, and freedoms of all Ghanaians as enshrined in the 1992 Constitution of Ghana. But let me also caution that the respect for human rights cannot, must not, be compromised with strategic threats to national security.